Saludos, mi gente. Good afternoon. All right, I'm Lee Muniz Jr., I'm the president of the Yonkers Hispanic Cultural Foundation. It's an honor for me to be the MC for this event, to welcome you to the Salvadorian flag raising here at the House of the People of Yonkers. We re warmly refer to it as our city hall. Please feel free to take pictures and share with your friends and families so that future generations know that you were here present at this event at the steps of City Hall. Throughout the years, our mayor, our city council has graciously supported the raising of international flags of all nationalities for the residents that, that call the city of Yonkers their home. And it's with their support that we're able to do this. It's, they make this possible, our mayor and our council people and our elected officials. So I'd like to acknowledge our elected officials and guests that are here with us today. Obviously we have our mayor, Mike Spano. We have our council people, um, Anthony Moranti, Tasha Diaz, Corazon Pineda. We have for um, standing for our council president, Maria George. We have for Shanae, um, Diana Robinson. We have our director for constituent services, Mike Sabatino, who's a former um, councilman as well. Maria Garcia, who's here standing in place for a Senator uh, Andrew Stewart Cousins, former council persons, Wilson Terrero and Lorraine Lopez. We have our city court judge, Karen Beltran. We have um, Santiago Caceres, who's here for representing the Board of Legislators. Uh, Ken Switzer for the office of David Tribiolo and Mili Gutierrez for the county legislator, Jose Alvarado. Alvarado is here. Alvarado, did you make it, Jose? I know, Mio. See, you forget the ones you love. I, I... Judge Evan in law is here. We have who? Judge Evan in law. Oh, Judge Evan in law and? Judge Shaco. Judge Shaco. That's right. Thank you so much. We have also our DPW director, uh, Tom Meyer. Is He doesn't miss any of our events, so thank you for being here, sir. If I miss anyone, please follow up with me down the road and we'll make sure we'll get everybody in. We have also with us um, Father Abatiello, who's here, and from Sacred Heart Church, and our Deputy Mayor, where's Anthony Landy? Anthony's been a great friend for our community and we love you and thank you for being here. Before we go any further, in the spirit of God before country, I'd like to introduce to you our, the pastor, Robert Abatiello of Sacred Heart Church, who's been working diligently to not only become a, a staple for the community at large, but also a resource of religious guidance and support for the Hispanic community. So, Father Abatiello, would you please join us? Recordamos que estamos en la presencia de Dios Padre. Good and gracious God, once again, we welcome your presence here among us this afternoon. Your love and your mercy have gathered us together as brothers and sisters. Con gratitud y orgullo, levantamos la bandera salvadoreña. And we pray together for peace and for justice for all people in the world. We ask you to watch over us, especially here today, our families, all of our loved ones, que en nuestros corazones, en el camino de caridad, sinceridad y la verdad. Llenanos con los dones del Espíritu Santo, pero muy, espe uh, muy especialmente los dones de sabiduría, entendimiento y también la fuerza que necesitamos. Help us to work with all people of all nations shown here today, respecting all cultures, all languages, and all traditions which make us one global community, all sons and daughters of one loving God. We pray all these things always in your most holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. I always love to hear Father Bob share a prayer. It gives us such inspiration. It's beautiful. With all the trials and tribulations that have been brought upon us, I'm going to ask you for to join us in a moment of silence as we remember those we lost during the pandemic. This is also 9-11 week. And all this served to strengthen us. We're not weaker from it. We're now stronger because we survived this together and we're a family, we're, we're a community. 
So I ask you to join me in this moment of silence as we remember those that we lost and honor those in the military and in public service who made the ultimate sacrifice in the protection of our communities and this country. Thank you. Um, Eddie Hueso, if you can join me to share the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And now to share the U.S. anthem, our sister, Nicole Toro, from the Office of Constituent Services. That was amazing. I was remiss to introduce, we have Daniela Razo here, who's the Consulate General for El Salvador Sound, assigned to the state of New York. So, Daniela, thank you again for being here with us. So, we're here today because on September 15th in 1821, the countries that formed the uh, Federation of Central America Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua all declared their independence from the country of Spain. On September 16th, that same year, Mexico then declared their independence. So today we celebrate these historic events with the Salvadoran community here in Yonkers, honoring and recognizing the 202 years of independence for El Salvador. Give yourselves a round of applause. Before I introduce our mayor to speak, I like putting them on the spot. Events such as these are possible because of the mayor who has the vision and love for our city. Several years ago, Mayor Spano asked me to find ways of bringing the Hispanic community together and I figured out, you know what, let's have more flag raisings. Let's get all the Hispanic communities out so we could publicly display our colors. And we did that. And at the same time, we're reminding the world, reminding the U.S., reminding Westchester County, Yonkers, 
This is all possible because of the battles that the Puerto Rican community fought and won. The battles when the Puerto Rican community was put in jail for raising their flag, we fought and won that right the U.S. Supreme Court. And everybody now, with pride and without any prosecution, can raise their flag. So I'm going to say that again. We have that right because the Puerto Rican community fought for that right here in the U.S. And everyone has the right to raise their flag, regardless of what country you're from. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing that we are here to share, and I do this proudly with you guys. So I'd like to now invite our mayor to say a few words. Mayor Mike Spano. Now, Louis, you don't talk too much at all, man. He asked me that question. I said, you know, I said no. No, it's great to be here. I'm so, I really, I am so excited that you're all here at City Hall, standing at the, uh, our Unity Fountain. You know, that Unity Fountain means a lot for us. The City Council funded the installation of that fountain. Uh, when it was done, it was done on the heels of a very tragic incident that uh, dealt with the uh, LGBTQ community. And we stood there all together, united, because on that day, uh, with people being persecuted because of who they loved. And we see that throughout history, people have been persecuted because of their skin color, because of their faith in God, because of who they love, because of what country they come from. And, you know, that's something that, um, you know, in the, in the belief in what America could be and what we want America to be, we don't want that. We don't want people to feel persecuted for anything. We want to celebrate each other and what we all bring to the table. And uh, we're excited here at Yonkers because Yonkers is uh, a really an example of maybe the 110th largest city in America, but we certainly are one of the most diverse communities of our size. And here in Yonkers, we celebrate our diversity. And it's our diversity that makes us who we are, it makes us strong. It's part of the renaissance that we're having here in Yonkers. And I have to tell you, here we are raising the, front, the flag for the uh, Salvadorian community. And we're going to be celebrating not just uh, your independence, but we're celebrating your many contributions to Yonkers, to New York, to America. And we're saying thank you because this is a better country because of your involvement, because of what you've done in terms of, of culture and education and, and commerce. So thank you. And that's why I think the city council and I and the, the members of, the, of our, especially our judges that are here today, we love doing this and we're here all the time. I can't, I haven't counted how many we've done so far this year, but we're here all the time celebrating different communities, different people, different customs and cultures, people who have come to Yonkers, New York, in the wonderful country of America, and, and you're making a life, and you're making a difference, and you're making this community so special. So I want to say thank you. I'd uh, say thank you to the honorees, especially my good friend Millie, and Norma, and Ricardo, and Sandra. Congratulations on this wonderful day for all that you are, for all that you do, and for the reasons that I just described, you make Yonkers such a great, great community. Thank you so much. And let's uh, raise that for Okay, so our next guest speaker is going to be the Consulate General of El Salvador. We're going to ask Daniel to say a few words. So, para que ustedes entiendan, la mayoría de esta presentación fue en inglés, porque vamos a estar en la televisión de Channel 12 para que la comunidad americana pueda entender lo que estamos haciendo para reconocer lo que estamos haciendo con la comunidad hispana. So most of the, I'm going to translate this obviously, uh, most of the presentation was done on our part in English because for the benefit of our viewers on Channel 12 and we're going to start a little bit more in Spanish for those who don't understand what, what we're saying in English. So thank you for, for being patient with us. Daniel? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I will speak in Spanish, but I want to thank uh, first Mayor Spano for hosting us again. Uh, this is the second time in, in, in a row. Uh, last year we were here, and now we see an even larger turnout. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for all the elected officials that are here. 
Uh, I want to thank especially Luis, of course, and Armando Rivas, uh, who's they've been organizing this for a long time now, and now they, they look like experts. Uh, yeah. And especially El Grupo Salvadoreño de Yonkers, the Salvadoran Yonkers group. Very good. Yeah. Uh, now I'll go to Spanish. Uh, de verdad, quiero recalcar el agradecimiento que de parte de, de nuestro consulado, del gobierno de El Salvador, el gobierno del presidente Nayib Bukele, tiene hacia la, la ciudad de Yonkers y hacia el grupo salvadoreño de Yonkers, porque cuando yo vine hace un par de años, eh, nos encontramos con que no había mucha organización de salvadoreños en, 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 ni en la ciudad de Nueva York ni, ni en los alrededores. Un poco sí, un poco más lejos sí había, pero en esta zona no. Y nos preguntábamos para qué se debía esto. Y hemos encontrado que no hemos tenido que hacer mucho porque la misma comunidad salvadoreña ya se está organizando y ustedes son prueba de ellos. Cada vez el grupo está más grande y esto habla también de así como hablaba el, el, el alcalde hispano que Yonkers está viviendo un, un renacer, un renaissance. El Salvador también y justamente eso es lo que, lo que nos, nos decía el presidente esta mañana. El Salvador está renaciendo, el Salvador renace y de las cosas terribles que pasaron, que nos hicieron a nosotros huir de nuestro país hace, hace muchas décadas, eh, por primera vez podemos decir que estamos de, viviendo de manera segura, que tenemos una verdadera independencia. Y esto ha hecho que nos sintamos orgullosos también de ser salvadoreños después de mucho tiempo. Y creo que es la razón por la cual ustedes se están uniendo y cada vez se están incorporando más al grupo. Y sigan adelante, sepan que siempre cuentan con el apoyo del consulado, Creo que nos han visto aquí ya bastante en sus actividades, en los consulados móviles, estuvimos en el desfile. Y ahora voy a brevemente pasar también a, al inglés para hacerle una, un comentario al alcalde. Mayor, uh, I know you're doing this with many other countries and I've already talked to, I told you during the, the parade a few months ago, I already talked to several of the other consul generals uh, uh, of Central America and New York and they're all willing to come here and meet with you and start organizing these uh, events more often. Gotcha. So that's an announcement I wanted to make. So again, I don't want to go any further. No, no me quiero extender mucho más. Así que muchísimas gracias. Felicidades y que viva El Salvador. Gracias, Daniel. Eso fue tremendo. Okay, we have a couple of uh, the recognition awards, and Armando, you're going to speak at the end. You want to? We're going to present these really quick. Mike, do you want to do this one? This is for Armando. This is recognition day as we celebrate the independence of El Salvador. Thank you. We have the people in the office. Want to stand in front? That's a proclamation on behalf of the mayor's office recognizing today is uh, El Salvador's flag racing event today. Mili Gutierrez, come up front. You take that one, Amanda. This is for Mili. Thank you so much. You got to take the picture of Mili in the front. No, no, tú puedes también, Armando. I want to be in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Millie Gutierrez is the um, founder for the Youth and Senior Empowerment Foundation, and she's also the administrative assistant for County Legislator Jose Alvarado. Good job, Millie. We have Ricardo uh, Alvarado. Alvarado. Another Alvarado. No, no relation to Jose yeah, Alvarado. Yeah. Yeah. He's my uncle. Next we have Norma Granados. Not enough frames. Not enough frames, yeah. 
and we have Sandra Enriquez. prepare for the moment we've been waiting for. Can I have Cristina Rosales join me at the podium so she can sing the Salvadorian National Anthem. Okay, as we close, I would like to ask El Presidente del Grupo Sabadeño, Armando Rivas, to join us at the podium and share a few words. Um, but I'm going to put him on the spot so you know he's a personal friend, un amigo, un vecino, y siempre estamos hablando acerca de cómo podemos, podemos apoyar y ayudar a la comunidad hispana aquí en Yankers. So, Armando, you're up. Thank you, Luke. Hello everyone, uh, uh, first I want to thank everyone that's here today, um, you Mr. Mayor, thank you very much, uh, all the city council members here today, uh, all the Westchester County legislators here today, um, all the city workers, judges and everybody, thank you so much, appreciate it, it is an honor to be here today as we celebrate the 202 anniversary of El Salvador independence and our second flag raising ceremony. My name is Armando Rivas, like a lot of you guys know. Um, I came to Yonkers in 1990, and uh, at that time I saw the, there was a lot of Salvadorians here. And uh, I always said to myself, uh, how come we're not represented? How come we don't have a, a, a parade? Uh, a flag raising, and after 30 years, uh, we did it. Well, uh, 29 years, because we did our, our first flag raising last year. Um, I'm also a retired police officer, uh, so I have, I have always helped people, uh, one way or another, uh, with Louis, with the community, uh, always help, helping everybody. Um, for several years, I volunteered with Louis with the Yaka Hispanic Foundation, uh, where there was the the Hispanic parade or any event he had. But uh, luckily, uh, last year, uh, everything, uh, everything worked out for us. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the group. Um, this group started with a Louis. Uh, he's my neighbor. Uh, he came to my house one day and he was like, oh, we should start a Salvadorian group. And I was like, no, Louis, I can't. Uh, I got twins, I'm busy with the family. At that time I was working. So I say no, but I don't know if you guys know Louis. <laughs> He's very stubborn. <laughs> so the first thing he did you. was he called his friend and he printed a, 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 a banner. 
I was like, he put the pressure on me. So, <laughs> and then you see it here today uh, at the parade with the, the, the Hispanic parade in 2022. Uh, I got the everybody's number and then we created the group from there. So it just happened. Like all good things happen like instantly. For a reason. Yeah, for a reason, yeah. So I want to thank uh, all the group members um, for the great job they've done. Uh, We've been through rough times, you know, it's not easy They're putting events together. Uh, but we, we, with the help of like a lot of people, which I have to mention them today. So you're gonna excuse me because I'm gonna read a, a few people here. Uh, obviously, uh, Luis Muñiz, the president of the Yankee Hispanic uh, Culture Foundation. Like I say, he's uh, one of the ones that, he's always helping me. So, and I help him too, because I also belong to his foundation, so. Um, Doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> New York State Assemblyman Nate is saying, uh, I don't think he's here today. I really appreciate his help. Uh, Mili Gutierrez, the president of the Senior and Youth Empowerment Association. Uh, thank you, Mili. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Councilwoman Corazon Pineda. I, I didn't she see it today. She, she was, was here. here. Yeah, she's always supporting us. Uh, Shanae Williams, I, I don't think she's here today, but she's always, uh, she's been Maria there from Garcia the beginning. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Maria Garcia, for being here today in, in, um, in place of Shanae Williams. Um, uh, Corporation Council Alexander Bissessi, uh, Judge Karen Beltran, my brother, Wilson Terrero, the president of the uh, the Dominican Association in Yonkers. Um, yeah. Um, and uh, Westchester County Leg Legislator David Tuviolo. He's, uh, he's been there from the beginning with me. And of course, his great team, Santiago uh, Casares and Ken Twitter. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I don't think I saw Alberto today. Alberto Velasquez? No. He's always supporting us, though. And. Um, I'm going to mention some of the people that uh, I consider them like family now. Um, Alfonso Alvarez Ortega from Dos Marias, thank you for the help. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. I didn't see Roberto. Roberto always helping us too. The whole uh, Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, Juan Bilorio from the uh, uh, Salvadoran restaurant is called Restaurante Salvadoreño on Park Hill. He helps. And then uh, Ms. Jolanda Hernandez from Kukata uh, uh, Grocery uh, uh, over here in Yonkers. Um, I also want to thank uh, Jose Argueta, Dina Ortiz from Sazon. I didn't see him, uh, I didn't see them here today. Sazon Central Americano restaurant in, 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 in Neperhan. They're always helping us. Uh, please support them. Uh, they got the best pupusas in town. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I also have really good news, uh, and um, I'm gonna say it in English and Spanish. Um, we recently became a nonprofit. Uh, our new name is gonna be uh, um, Westchester Salvadoran Association. That's gonna be our new name. But. Don't forget, we're always going to be Grupo Salvadoreño for you guys. So, Yonkers, Mr. Mayor, that's... We're going to be here all the time. Good. Even though even though we're going to be called Westchester, we're from Yonkers. <laughs> Genuinely from Yonkers. Yonkers taking over. Yeah. So, but last, last but not least, I want to thank all the members of the group who have volunteered in making this event a success that we shared together. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. Let's not forget, without us working together, there's no group. Together, we turn this dream into reality. Thank you for being here, and please give yourself a round of applause. I'm almost done, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna speak in Spanish, which is my first language. Uh, the reason I get a little nervous is because when they play the national anthem, I get very nostalgic. So, I apologize for that. Uh, quiero darle las gracias a todos, a mis familiares, por haber estado a mis amigos. Uh, sin, mi fa sin mi familia, yo no puedo hacer esto. Saben que esto es de gratis, nadie le paga a uno. So, hay que dar el tiempo. 
y, y la familia es cuanto más en todo para ayudarlo. Uh, y también a todos los que están aquí este día, uh, muchas gracias por venir. Uh, yo los considero como familia a todos. Muchísimas gracias. Y vamos a hacer que nuestras comunidades brillen aquí en Yakish. Uh, un llamado para Centroamérica, que nos unamos, como dijo el señor Consul, uh, ya estamos ellos están trabajando en eso y esa es una de las visiones que tenemos acá. Uh, ya como que Luis nos ayudó a nosotros, a ayudar a los uh, guatemaltecos, hondureños. Tirsa, ¿dónde está? Que no la veo. Ya sabe, vamos a trabajar juntos. Sí. Así que vamos a prepararnos y, y primero Dios que todo nos salga bien. Muchas gracias a todos, Dios los bendiga y ahora los esperamos en el 491 de Pálice y donde tendremos comida típica, vamos a bailar, a gozar cumbia y arriba El Salvador. Gracias al señor Daniel Erazo también por siempre estar con nosotros, ha estado ahí desde el principio, si, aunque llegue un poco, a quien no pueda venir siempre llega, siempre llega. So, eso me encanta, muchísimas gracias. Sí, sí. Y como digo, los esperamos uh, en el 491 de París. Gracias por todo y que tengan buen día. Bendiciones. Okay, this will conclude our ceremony for today. I hope everybody had a wonderful time. This is a wonderful experience. I wish you guys all the best. And we're going to ask Father Bob to send you home with a prayer and a blessing. Thank you, Luis, for always counting, bringing me in. I appreciate it. He's another one that gets to Antes de venir, una palabrita personal, okay? El año pasado yo le dije a ustedes que nunca he ido yo a Salvador. Este diciembre yo voy la primera vez. For those who don't speak Spanish, I said here last year at the ceremony, I'd never been to um, El Salvador. But I'll be going for the first time in December for a reunion of priests and brothers from America, uh, Central America. So I'll uh, have more to say to you next time I'm here. <laughs> Let us remember again, my brothers and my sisters, as we prepare to take leave of one another, we thank God for bringing us together. We pray, Almighty God, that your divine blessing accompanies us on our journey home today, but also every day of our lives. And may the celebra a celebration we've had here today Recall the dignity that you've given each and every one of us as your sons and daughters and all the good that you desire for us and particularly as a community in this wonderful city of Yonkers. And so we pray your blessing on us here and all those who are with us in spirit. Inclina la cabeza para recibir la bendición de Dios. Que Dios todo poderoso los bendiga con su misericordia y les conceda la sabiduría que salva. Amén. Que aumente siempre en ustedes la fe y los haga perseverar en las buenas obras. Amén. Amén. Que merece a su sí los pasos de ustedes y les muestre el camino de amor y de paz. Amén. Amén. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father Bob. Surely, Father. All right, with that, this concludes today's ceremony. I want to thank everybody for being here with us today. And I uh, wish you guys a safe trip home. And I hope to see you guys back next year. Thank you. Que viva Salvador!